Welcome back, fellow explorers, to another riveting journey with the Insight Station. I'm your host, Eske Saha, and today, we're embarking on a quest to unravel the enigmatic tale of the lost city of the Rockies. Grab your virtual hiking boots because we're diving deep into the history of Mesa Verde. Picture a landscape that whispers secrets of the past, a sprawling canvas called Mesa Verde National Park. Tucked away in the heart of Colorado, this is where nature's masterpiece collides with human history. Imagine standing on the edge of time, gazing at the very cliffs that cradled the dreams of ancestral Pueblo people. From these heights, they peered into their future, etching their legacy onto the stone canvas. It's like nature handed them a challenge, build where no one else would dare. And boy, did they deliver. The cliff dwellings they constructed are architectural wonders that defy gravity and logic. But hold on to that thought, fellow explorers, because we're just getting started on this journey into the mesmerizing mysteries of Mesa Verde. All right, let's talk architecture, the kind that takes location, location, location to a whole new level. Imagine the Pueblo people, perched high on cliffs like avian architects, crafting homes that would make even modern builders raise an impressed eyebrow. These weren't your run-of-the-mill huts, these were cliffside condominiums with a view that could humble the grandest penthouse. Think of it as Mother Nature's way of saying, here's your canvas, let's see what you've got. Now, constructing these cliff dwellings wasn't a walk in the park. It was a high-stakes game of assembling sandstone blocks without a single IKEA instruction manual in sight. And remember, these blocks weren't exactly feather-light. These architects were more like cliff-scaling superheroes, carrying hefty blocks up the slopes with determination that would give Spider-Man a run for his money. The result? Architectural marvels that blend seamlessly with the rugged terrain, creating a harmony between humanity and nature. It's as if these dwellings were sculpted by both human hands and the hands of time itself. The Pueblo people crafted a symphony of stone that still echoes through the canyons, and to this day, their cliff dwellings stand as a testament to human ingenuity, proving that even when life gives you cliffs, you build a home that's as enduring as the stories etched into its walls. But the saga doesn't end here, fellow explorers, there's more intrigue to unfold as we delve further into the tales of Mesa Verde's history. Brace yourselves, intrepid adventurers, for a plot twist as enigmatic as a mystery novel's final pages. Just when life seemed cozy in their cliffside sanctuaries, the Pueblo people decided to pack their bags and vanish, leaving behind a riddle that echoes through the ages. Imagine this, an entire community, like a scene from a magician's act, suddenly disappearing, leaving their cliff dwellings behind like a ghost town. What caused this mass vanishing act? Cue the theories, each more intriguing than the last. First up, we've got the resource depletion drama. Picture it, a once thriving civilization, grappling with dwindling resources, eventually deciding that the grass, or rather, the mesas, might be greener somewhere else. It's like changing houses to save on groceries. Resource exhaustion might have been the cue for these nomadic architects to fold their homes and embark on a new journey. Then, there's the climate change conundrum. As the climate decided to throw a curveball or two, it's possible the Pueblo people decided to take a rain check and head to more hospitable climes. After all, living on cliffs might be great, but it doesn't hurt to check the weather forecast before committing to a centuries-long lease. Of course, we can't forget the migration melodrama. The idea that these Pueblo people pulled a pilgrimage-worthy vanishing act to join other communities is like a cross-country road trip, minus the road. Maybe it was a case of the more, the merrier as they traded architectural ideas, potluck recipes, and who knows, maybe even cliffside gardening tips. But wait, there's more. Some theorize that it might have been a mix of all these factors, or perhaps a dash of some yet-to-be-uncovered ingredient. The mystery deepens, like a plot twist that keeps you on the edge of your seat. As we traverse the canyons of speculation, remember, dear explorers, that sometimes the answers are as elusive as shadows at sunset. 
But don't worry, the journey into the heart of Mesa Verde's history is far from over. In the next chapter, we'll uncover the explorers who rewrote its story and the intriguing discoveries that followed. So buckle up, because there's more intrigue, adventure, and possibly a few more puns ahead as we journey through the misty alleys of the lost city of the Rockies. Fast forward to the 19th century, when bold explorers emerged from the shadows, ready to rewrite the history books and unveil the secrets of Mesa Verde. These were the folks who trade a cozy armchair for a fedora any day, a league of adventurers who gave Indiana Jones a run for his antiquities. One name that stands out is Richard Wetherill. Picture this, a man with a fedora, yes, a fedora, and a keen eye for ancient wonders. He stumbled upon Mesa Verde like a modern-day treasure hunter, discovering cliff dwellings that had waited centuries to be rediscovered. But Wetherill wasn't a lone ranger in this historical quest. He and his family roped in other intrepid souls to unravel Mesa Verde's mysteries, turning the canyons into a playground of discovery. It's as if they took the whole let's play explorers idea to heart and created a real-life adventure that was part history, part thrill-seeking escapade. Their efforts didn't stop at discovery, they ignited a spark for preservation. In 1906, the United States government stepped in and declared Mesa Verde a national park, setting the stage for the safeguarding of these ancient wonders for generations to come. They knew that these cliff dwellings weren't just cool-looking ruins, they were pieces of a puzzle that could unlock a forgotten chapter in human history. Today, as you wander through the labyrinthine halls of these cliffside homes, take a moment to salute those fedora-wearing pioneers. They didn't just uncover a city lost to time, they paved the way for its preservation, making sure that the echoes of the past would resonate through the canyons for centuries more. So tip your imaginary fedora to these modern-day adventurers, because they're the reason you can stand in awe of the architectural marvels and unravel the mysteries of the lost city of the Rockies. And trust me, fellow explorers, this journey has just started, it's time to dig deeper into the heart of Mesa Verde's history. Prepare to step into the shoes, well, sandals of the ancestral Pueblo people and witness the cliff dwellings not just as structures, but as living embodiments of their vibrant culture. These cliffside abodes were more than mere shelters, they were the canvas upon which the Pueblo people painted their lives. Imagine the echoes of laughter in these stone chambers, the scent of meals cooked over open fires, and the whispered stories that reverberated through the narrow passageways. These cliff dwellings weren't just homes, they were time capsules that hold within them the dreams, hopes, and rituals of a community that thrived against all odds. From sunrise ceremonies to sunset reflections, every nook and cranny tells a tale. Their architecture wasn't just a reflection of survival, it was a statement of their connection to the land and the cosmos. The play of light and shadow, the arrangement of rooms, all had deeper meanings that tied into their spiritual beliefs and social fabric. As we explore these dwellings, remember that history isn't just a collection of facts, it's a symphony of experiences. And as you stand in the midst of these ancient homes, Close your eyes and listen, listen to the whispers of a people who have left their mark on the walls of time. There's more to uncover, more to feel, and more to connect with as we delve further into the depths of Mesa Verde's mysteries. Fast forward to the present, where Mesa Verde isn't just a relic of the past, it's a living laboratory of discovery. Archaeologists, armed with tools sharper than Indiana Jones' wit, are piecing together the fragments of history with unprecedented precision. Through meticulous excavation and scientific analysis, these modern-day time travelers are unveiling insights into the Pueblo people's lives that even the best storytellers of the past couldn't fathom. They're deciphering the everyday stories, the culinary choices, the trade networks, and the intricate social dynamics that paint a vivid picture of a civilization long gone. And it's not just the academics who get a front row seat. Mesa Verde National Park serves as an outdoor classroom, inviting curious minds of all ages to dive into the annals of history. 
From guided tours that take you through the labyrinth of rooms to interactive exhibits that make you feel like you've time-traveled, education has never been this immersive. So, fellow explorers, as we continue our expedition, know that the journey into Mesa Verde's history isn't just about looking back, it's about understanding the present, connecting the dots, and leaving footprints of our own as we follow in the footsteps of those who lived before us. The mysteries aren't fading, they're evolving, and we're fortunate to be part of the ongoing exploration. As we wrap up our expedition into the lost city of the Rockies, remember, fellow explorers, that Mesa Verde isn't just history, it's a lesson in resilience and the power of human creativity. So, if you're ever in the mood for a time-traveling adventure that doesn't require a DeLorean, pack your bags and head to Mesa Verde National Park. Thanks for joining me on this thrilling escapade, dear viewers. If you're as smitten with history and cliffhangers as I am, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your fellow explorers, and, of course, subscribe for more exhilarating expeditions with The Insight Station. Until next time, keep exploring and keep wondering.